Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dapper Diary. Are you someone who's sick of wearing sneakers all the time in the summer? Perhaps you're a younger guy who have been wearing sneakers all their lives, but now you want to step up your style game. You want to get into something more classic, more formal. Or maybe you're an older gentleman who have been already introduced to this type of shoe and just want another option. Well, in today's video, I'm going to solve all of those problems for you. Let me introduce to you the world of loafers and specifically the Grandstone Traveler Penny Loafer. Stay tuned. Alright, so before we dive into these loafers specifically, let me introduce to you a little bit about the Grandstone brand. Now, Grandstone is a Michigan-based company with a factory located in Salmon, China. One of the co-founders spent an impressive eight years in salmon, mastering the craft of footwear, learning about how to make them. Now the brand follows a direct-to-consumer model, which in conjunction with the idea that all of their shoes are made in China, it keeps their prices very reasonable. Now, please don't let the made in China label scare you away. I've owned four of their shoes and I can attest that their shoes are nothing short of supreme. Now let's take a closer look at these loafers. These shoes are made of a beautiful kudu leather, which comes from the African antelope, giving them unique scars due to their origin of being a wild animal running around in the savanna. The leather is sourced from the renowned tannery C.F. Stead, which is established in Leeds, England, way back in 1825. So as I said, despite the fact that the brand produces, put together all of their shoes in China. They source all of their leathers from very renowned tanneries that produce very high quality leather. The Grandstone loafers also feature a 360 degree Goodyear welt ensuring durability and longevity as a Goodyear welt allows you to resole these shoes over and over again. Now inside the shoe you will find a full grain vegetable tanned leather insole with a leather welt along with cork filling underneath the full grain vegetable tan insole as well as a steel shank for added support. Now the reason why leather insoles and cork fillings are so good is because after wearing them they will start to mold to the shape of your foot giving them a very custom feeling when you wear them. These Grandstone loafers also have full grain vegetable tan leather outsoles and I think that leather outsoles are the most comfortable outsoles way more comfortable than the heavy lug outsoles or even day night style outsoles because those are all rubber and rubber is not as flexible it's not as form fitting as leather it just doesn't feel as nice in my opinion as an outsole all right here's the best part you can get these shoes for 360 bucks now i know that sounds expensive and way out of your budget for some of your new guys who are new to the world of high-end footwear and Goodyear Wealth of Shoes. But let me give you a little bit of insight. Most brands who construct their shoes in this fashion with leather insoles, cork fillings, and leather outsoles, they price all of their shoes at least over 400 bucks. And that's not even including the fact that these shoes have an exotic kudu leather. If that were to the case, that other brands were using exotic leathers as well, it would also increase their price to way over 500. So trust me when I say that 360 bucks is a very fair price for what you get. I would say that the construction and the quality of Grant Stone shoes is way up there, higher than Red Wings, higher than Wolverines. It is, it is the best bang for your buck in my opinion. Okay, when it comes to sizing, it might get a bit tricky with loafers, especially when they first arrive. The last that they use, which is the mold that they create the shoe around, runs large. You want to order a half size down, which means, for example, if you are normally a size 8 in your sneakers, like say your Vans or Converse, you might want to go down to a 7.5 for these loafers, and as well as their other Grandstone boots. Now when they first arrive, don't be surprised if you get a little bit of heel slip. This is because the sole is very stiff. However, as you break in the shoes and as the sole gets more flexible, the heel slip will be eliminated or at least significantly reduced to practically nothing. One thing to note is that these loafers might feel very tight on the instep during the initial breaking period, 
which can get very uncomfortable, but once they're fully broken in, you will find that the fit is amazing. And when you purchase these shoes, I would thoroughly recommend also getting some shoe horns. It would help getting them on and off a lot better for you and also a lot better for the counter of the shoe. Okay, let's talk about styling these Grand Stone loafers. For a casual yet sophisticated look, pair them with a pair of light wash, very well fitting jeans. If you're aiming for a more upscale summer outfit, try combining them with a pair of linen trousers and button up shirt that we talked about in the previous video. So in conclusion, I think that Grand Stone loafers are a perfect option for those of you looking for some interesting and very fair priced classic footwear. The Kudu leather and its amazing construction quality makes it a very good choice for any shoe enthusiast out there. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. It would really help my small channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay dapper.